you won't believe the intensity and the extra aroma and flavor you get from a homemade Chinese five spice. Now the real secret here guys is roasting the whole spices. It's gonna release all the flavors and aromas and give us the extra punch that we want. So I'm gonna start off with the harder spices here. Now Chinese five spice, five obviously, uh, we're going for cinnamon sticks, star anise, cloves, Szechuan peppercorns and fennel seeds. And the great thing about making your homemade version is I find a lot of the commercial versions don't use the Szechuan peppercorns, they use black peppercorns instead. And that doesn't give you the best flavor. So now let's do our harder spices first. So cinnamon stick goes into the pan. And we wanna do these uh, slightly separately. So the cinnamon stick, the star anise and the cloves, all about the same kind of thickness so I'm going to roast those together first. If I put all the spices in at once then the fennel seeds and the Szechuan peppercorns would burn before I got the right kind of roast on the rest of the spices. And I'm just starting to get the smell of that cinnamon now. Combined with those cloves it's like a Christmas smell. So that smell is starting to really intensify now and I can see I'm getting just little tiny tendrils of smoke so I I think we are good to go for these guys. Just gonna cool them down in a jar. And now for the Szechuan peppercorns and the fennel seeds. Now for these ones in particular, it's really key that you keep moving this pan around. You don't want any hot spots or any particular little seeds to burn. Okay, so these ones didn't take very long at all. And I'm gonna put those into the jar as well, just to cool down. To grind up these spices, I use a very small and cheap coffee grinder. I only use it for spices though, because otherwise you'll get the smell and aroma of coffee in your spice blends, but they're really cheap to buy online and they're great for making curry powders or this Chinese fire spice. So I'm gonna pop that into there. You could also do this in a mortar and pestle as well. Okay, let's see how we're going. Mm, that smell is so amazing. It's so intense. You've got the cinnamon and the star anise. Oh, and that background sort of fennel smell. Beautiful. Now, I tend to find that a little bit of a scraping down is necessary halfway through. And then you can see there's still a few little bits of cinnamon stick, so we'll go again. Now always I find there's a couple of chunks of cinnamon stick that don't always make it through to a nice fine powder. So I just take those out. You could put this through a fine sieve as well. It's pretty easy to spot those big chunks of cinnamon. Now your Chinese five spice will keep indefinitely. It's not gonna go off, but the longer you keep spices, the more they lose their fragrance and aroma. So that's why I like to make a slightly smaller batch and just use it quickly. Store it in an airtight jar. Oh, I'm already imagining all the amazing things I'm going to be making with this spice blend. Now, you can find all the different recipes that I've got for this Chinese fire spice blend on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. See you soon, my friend.